A new program to help Arizona inmates get a fresh start. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott McDonald. And I'm Rachel McNeil. Well, it's a program aimed at making sure inmates don't go back to prison once they're released. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks joins us live this morning in Phoenix with more on a multi-agency effort that works to make that happen. Good morning, guys. Yeah, for people that are incarcerated, once they're released, oftentimes they just don't know where to turn. So to set them up for success right now, when they get out, ADOT is working with the Department of Corrections and the Phoenix Truck Driving Institute, as well as DES, to raise awareness about a CDL program they have set up, training prison inmates to get their commercial driver's licenses after their release. And right now, ADOT is working with corrections to do just that at Lewis Prison, and they're set to begin soon at Perryville as well. The the women's prison. I spoke with the man who tells 12 News. He was never violent, but he did spend 18 of the past 32 years in prison for drug related offenses. Jason Mortolero finally realized his way just was not working, and he decided to start over with the help from the Second Chances and New Freedom organizations. There are things that are going to apply to you if you honestly are applying yourself, and so that's what I did this time. And my son likes to say, well, Dad, I knew you were different this time because you started going down in custody level instead of up. And so, and then I took advantage of the Second Chance Center, and then I took advantage of just all the different programs that have been offered, and I actually listened this time, and that's what the difference is. Jason started the process a month ago and now after 120 hours of training behind the wheel here at Phoenix Truck Driving Institute and 40 hours in the classroom, he has his CDL. So the job search can begin. Integrity, honor, respect. These are all things that Jason said that he never really experienced before this. And he is starting his life over with the help of all of these agencies here in the Valley of the Sun. Coming up at six o'clock, we're going to talk with a couple of key people that he met along his road to recovery and really the chance at a new beginning, all starting here at Phoenix Truck Driving Institute. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Trisha Hendricks, Today in AZ.